Hi, I'm Timo, a technician from Equip2, and I'm here to show you guys how to unfold a K6 screen. The first step is to turn the machine on. First we need to turn the isolator on, then we turn the key on, and we wait till a prompt comes up onto the screen to reset. Now we hit the push to start button and we wait for the alarm to stop. Now we can turn the key and start the engine. Now we can turn on the hydraulics by pushing this button here. The next step is to unfold the LSL belt, which is the left side conveyor. Before you unfold the left side conveyor, you need to undo this bolt here. We come up to above the control panel. The two left levers are to unfold the LSL. The left lever is used to pivot the belt into the upright position and the second lever is used to lower the belt down. First we need to pivot the belt up into the straight position and then lower it down. Once the conveyor is folded out, the next step is to fasten the conveyor arm lock. Once you've completely folded out this belt, the next step is to fit this guard on the right hand side of this belt. It's important to ensure that this skirting here is above the belt, not below. Once you have fitted the guard on the right hand side, you need to complete the same procedure on the left hand side. The next step is to unfold the RSL, which is the right-hand side conveyor. To do this, there are three different levers. First, we need to un unfold the center section of the belt using this lever here. The next lever is used to lower the complete conveyor down. Once at a suitable height, then you need to unfold the end of the conveyor using this lever here. The next step is to lower the conveyor completely down and insert the locking pins which are located in the toolbox. The next step is to lower the end of the conveyor so it's resting on the locking pins. Once this is completed, the next step is to unfold all the belt skirting, ensuring that the skirting is sitting on top of the conveyor belt. The next step is to lift the conveyor to the desired height and install these supports. Then we lower the conveyor so that the cables are taking the support. Once the RSL is completely unfolded, then we need to unfold the MCL, which is the main conveyor. And that is done by using this lever here. The next step is to remove this conveyor bar.
The next step is to fit these guards on both sides of the conveyor in this area here. Once the MCL unfold is complete, then we need to lift the screen box on, up onto its stands. To do this, you need to use this lever here, SCR, which stands for screen box, and lift the screen box up. Next, we flip the stand blocks over on each side. Now we will lower the screen box back down to its resting position. It's important to fit the bolts into the stays on both sides of the screen box. The next step is to fold these skirtings up and over the skirting here before you completely lower the screen box down. Now with that we've lifted up the skirting, we can lower the screen box to the complete bottom position. The next step is to unfold all the hopper walls, um, starting from either side, doing both the side walls first and then the rear wall last. That is done with these three controls. Uh, we'll start with the right one. Once the rear wall is up, then we need to ensure that those locks on either side are locked into position. The next step is to slide the apron feeder, APR short, into the screen box. This is done using this lever here. Once the apron feeder is all the way in, then we need to lock these pins. Once this is done, then we lower the apron feeder back onto the pins. The next step is to unfold this working platform using this lever here. Once this is fully extended, then we need to lock the ram. The final step is to lift the screen back up and insert the bolts here. Insert the bolts here and here on both sides of the machine. So that's how you unfold a K6 screen. If you need any help or assistance or more information, please contact one of our team.